Hey, super supporters. Uh, have welcome to your week of sunflowers. One, two, we're going to do three today and we're actually going to do three today. Uh, having a bad hair day. It's raining. I feel kind of gross. So I threw out this, this funky wig. Look at it. And then my cool butterfly glasses. I'm babysitting today, so um, uh, we can have drop-ins. I can hear one coming right now. Sorry. All right, I'm going to move that cursor off. I'm going to flick you around. Hi, Cass. Neighborhood. All right, so there we go. Flick you around. Find my canvas. Get it to the right angle. There you go. You're going to need your paper towel. You're going to need your three brushes, your three brushes. Um, shut the door here. Hang on. Okay. There we are back. And you're going to need water to do this plastic bag. Maybe that's there. No reason for a plastic bag. I'm going to be using black blue yellow, red, and some white. I'm going to start with, maybe I'm just going to start this time and I'm going to etch out the top or maybe all of the, um, I want to say dragonflies when we're talking about sunflowers. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a concoction of, hang on, Concoction of sort of a, a yellowy blackish color. Let's go with a round brush, a little pointy brush. Taking um, a little bit of yellow here, take a tiny bit of black. Oh, I can't keep these kids out of here. Sorry. So that you just have like a, a an icky color of yellow. Okay, go through. Don't come back again. Go out there. Shut the door, please. Thank you. Let's get. <laughs> Pull hard. Pull hard. Okay, make sure you shut the door. Thank you. So anyways, uh, parents are away. So um, they've gone up to the closet to grab all the snacks. We are going to paint one sunflower up here looking upwards. One over here kind of looking out this way. And then one over there kind of looking out that way. It's going to be really cool. So um, I'm going to kind of have the top one, just just kind of make yourself, a, doesn't really matter, just sort of a half moon shape, just so that we don't color that in. doesn't matter what that looks like. We're going to fix it later. And then over here, just do with this yucky, with this yuckiness, um, we're going to have one looking out this direction. So it's going to kind of come around this way. A little bit like that so that it's all looking up that way in that direction and then the one over here is going to go down just a little bit and it's going to kind of look off this way a bit I just want to sort of get the outsides so I'm going to have like a circle one there circle one here circle one here good now let's go with the background so I'm going to take the bigger brush and we're going to start with black a little bit of water on my brush because I didn't wet the background. So I'm going to go across the top here. And if you want to go around and do the back of yours, I just don't want to have a whole bunch of black where my yellow is going to be because that uh, it's hard to cover up. You guys watched my last one so you can see that it's kind of hard to cover up. So just go a little bit here and then we're going to start to kind of blend it a little bit with a lighter color. You all can see the top. Good. Oh, so next week, I'm finally getting back into the pubs, small classes. And I'm just sort of tapping this in here so. Just to get that in. A little bit on the round of this one. 
maybe to about halfway through it where I think it's there. All right. Now we're going to make um, a little bit of a, a green color. So we have this yellow already here. Just take your big brush, touch it, just gently touch it, the blue to it. So you just have a little bit of blue in there. And it's going to make sort of a, an ugly green color, it's much more black. I don't want it to be too pretty. And I'm going to go from here down a little bit over top of these. So all that area on the outsides. Maybe I've got to add a little water because I didn't make a whole bunch of it. So there you go. You got some ugly greeny color going in here. Let's get our brush a little bit damp, clean off the excess water, go to that and sort of blend and mix these two together so that it's kind of messy and you can bring some black down but looks sort of seamless. Does not have to be perfect because anything um, that we don't cover up, and we're gonna throw some yellow on top, we can just throw some white over top of the background color. So you can bring a little bit of that black up and then down, bring the green up, bring the black down, just so that it all kind of, it's very messy, but it goes together. Now I'm going to clean this brush off and I'm going to go to um, even lighter stuff now. Um, hmm, maybe we can just throw a little bit of, I'm going to go white-ish, as white as we can, sort of a whitey yellow. So I'm just going to take a bunch of white and I'm going to take that and mix that into that color, whatever you got left, so that it's not pure white. A little bit pale yellow. You can even take a little more yellow to it. This is up to you. Just it's going to be lighter. Touch of blue so it stays a little bit green. And I'm going to go to the edge of that. I'm going to go in here with it because I don't know where those stems are going to fall yet. So going around those things. Okay, you pick up a little bit of black. Don't let it stress you out. No more paintings are messy. It's all good. I just have some black mixed in my brush, and that's okay. Taking as much as I can, add some water to it. I'm just going to fill the rest of this canvas. Make up a color. Just make up a color. I ran out, so I'm just going to throw a little bit of white and yellow in here now. Forget the blue part. So now it's more just a little yellow down here. Mix with the water. Whatever comes off my brush or my palette at this point, <laughs> I'm sticking in here. Add water. Mess it around. Okay, there we go. That is your background. Crazy as it seems, you can use your hands to tap this around, bring it down a little bit. Start up in here and slowly just using all four fingers, tapping it down. Maybe go back up, bring it back down. Just be messy, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, now that's your background. We're gonna leave that, we gotta blow dry it.
might be good. Okay, so let's start with the top one. Or not. No, let's leave the top one. We're going to start with the side one. Taking our round brush, we are going to do the black circles. So I want this one to be looking up this way. So I'm going to start at the bottom of it, do a half circle, and then come around the top. So it looks like a football. Maybe using, oops, shoot. Red all over the place, guys. Red all over my brush. Using my, my medium sized brush. I just want to fill this in. So thin coat, guys. Don't make it really thick because we've got to dry that. So come around. Yeah. So it's around and then it pops over that way. So everything's going to be looking up that way. This one is going to be looking in the other direction. So I'm going to have it here. And then puff out that way. So it's a little longer and then puffed out that way. So it is kind of oval and not round. That's how you know it's going to the side. That's how you know it's going to the side. Same with that one. Now here's my thought on this. Less room on this side than that side. So I'm going to have the shorter ones coming up. This one's not getting one. It's not getting one. I'll dry, dry those circles off. brushes should be cleaned off. We are going to get out of using the black. So we want all the black off of our brush. We're going to start using yellows. Yellows and yellows and oranges. So you may have to go over some with white, but let's start with, um, actually, here we go. Take some of this yellow and make a yellow and white concoction. We'll just start with a really pale yellow. And then all, there'll be some white mixed in there and it won't be so transparent. So we're going to start here. There's going to be some that come out this way. So it's, um, they're going to go around a little bit like a clock here. And then come around this way or like a pizza. So they're just kind of little triangles so going right up to the black. Don't worry if you cross over the black because we can fix all that. And then it's going to come around this way and it's going to come out here too. It's a little harder to see down here. So as long as it's going like a clock, not straight, 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 straight. But as you're going, change the angle of it. So there'd be like spokes of a wheel and then stop. Don't do that side. These can be super neat. If you're a super neat person, make them neat, don't have to be, or they can be all crazy. Just go past this line here that you drew. So now you can take a step back and see if they need to be a little bit longer, but kind of keep them sort of even at this point. And your back ones, we're not going to do yet because I got to put some green on there. Let's go over to the other one. To the other one, we're going to do kind of the same thing. We're going to have it out this way. Messy. Like bike spokes coming out. I'm going to add a little more yellow to that mixture with the white. Just flicking them out, flicking them out. Go 
go right to the black though. You've dried the black, so you're okay. Okay, and up here, and then we're gonna stop there. So it's like right at 12 o'clock, we're gonna stop. And right at six o'clock, we're gonna stop. Take it right to the black. Just leave that one. For the top one now, definitely gonna have to have white in there, like a lot of white, because we're gonna cover over this black. Um, not necessarily a lot of it though. I'm gonna take blue and yellow and make just a little bit of green here just so that you can see. So blue and yellow, make a little bit of green and I want it to come like that. Okay, so that's kind of where the top one's gonna go. So we're gonna start from there and go up. It's going to kind of come off the side a little bit. Sort of like that. Messy though, nothing too neat. And then same on the other side. So it's going to kind of come off like that. Curl that whole side up here in yellow. There we go. That looks kind of goofy. It's okay. It's doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to be adding another color in there. So we're going to go ahead and make some green while we've got this out. Take some yellow, throw it in the center, take a little bit of blue, a little bit at a time, otherwise the color will be off. So you get yourself a nice light green color here. I say we make this dark. Take a little bit of black, stick it in there so that we have a dark green color. It's a little bit too black, so I'm going to add a little more blue because it was losing its greenness. There we go. A little bit blue. All right, there we go. So there's the color of that. So these, this is this one here. And it's going to have all these little marks that come up. Those come up into there, and I think it should be darker, you guys, because I don't really see it. Adding a little more black. Going around like a clock, not straight up and down. And it has that base there. We'll do a second coat. We'll do it, we'll do a second coat. I'm Please stop coming in out of here, you guys. I'm making a film. Stay upstairs for a while now. Okay. Upstairs. Chihuahua. Alrighty. So there's the green on that one. The green on the next one um, is going to come off this way. See how I haven't touched that yet? We still have to put some yellow in there. So. Got to leave that there. Looks funny, I know. Same on this side. Does not have to be perfect. Okay, there we go. Let's dry that. Let's blow dry it. Get the blow dryer out.
Here's a little fun fact for you guys. Did you know Bob Ross always did three of every painting? The one that you guys saw on TV, the one he practiced on, and then another one that he did and took a lot of time on so that he could um, sell them or keep them in a gallery. So he always did three. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, actually. All right, so get all that yellow off as much as you can. If there's a little bit of green in there. It's okay, because we're messy. So um, for this yellow, I'm going to take another schlock over here. And I'm going to touch it, just touch it with red, because I've been adding too much red lately. And it's been pretty orange. This is going to give me a deeper, just slightly offs the color, and it's just a deeper orange or red. I mean, an orange or yellow. Orange or yellow. So for this one, um, on this one here in particular, we're going to start to wrap it around. And I guess I need to do that one with the white still. So using the white stuff. We're going to kind of wrap that around. It kind of curls this way a little bit. And then these ones, we're going to imagine they come up and around. So they're coming up past this one and they're getting a little hook this way. See that? They can come up crooked like that. They don't have to be perfect, but they're all coming up that way. And you can see that it's transparent. So I'm going to go over it in white with my smaller brush. So with the white, I'm going to go over it this way because it's too transparent and the black is showing through. So as I'm doing that, I might as well do these ones too. So these ones here, I'm going to have a couple come up like this. It's really up to you how you want these ones to come across and in front of here. a little bit like that and we're still gonna have some that come down the other way okay so back to the orangey stuff so my orangey stuff I'm gonna go over these ones here so you can see them do it pretty thick don't worry about it being beautiful right now just make some things that come up and into um, your the center of your, here again, I'm thinking dragonfly, sunflower. I think I'm just getting old brain, old brain. My words don't come to me. So I'm going to bring a couple more this way, bring it up this way into here, another row kind of, but I want to have some that come down that way. Looking good. Still not finished with this part. That's not done. We're just going over these ones a little. With this color. My paint is really thick on here. Okay. Now going back up into these ones here. Don't do exactly the same but just add a little you can have some short ones using your orange or red i mean your orange or yellow add some a second layer maybe there's some behind it would add a second layer of petals to that one it's starting to look prettier and same over here you got a little bit of white showing. Here's where you're going to cover it up with this one. Go ahead. Don't be worried about hitting that black part. And then up here too. Hi, Mom.
Maybe it just goes all willy-nilly up there. I'm using, making them thicker too. My little points are not as narrow. My petals, I should say. So I have one come over here. And because there's no white behind it, the green's not showing. God, I've put, got to put white behind it. It just won't show up. Make them a little bigger. Change the direction of them a little. Make them wilder. Maybe they're going to hang over the edge a little. Wait, wait, wait. Give me some hangs over the edge here a little. Back to my orange. I'm liking it. Kind of liking it. This one, I still need to work on the green a bit. The green needs a little something. Making my green a little blacker. I still have that green in my thing, so I'm going to add a little more green. Greeny black so that you guys can see. I'm going to bring it a little higher too. I'm making them a little more defined. They don't all have to be straight. So I need to make some stems, guys. So this one here is going to eventually come to about here. Very thick stems on these things. And I'm just going to run it. It's going to kind of come down like that. Oops, get to the edge there. A little bit of water in that mixture so that it doesn't get all these canvas lines in it right here. Okay, so there's one. So you can start to see um, where they're coming from. This one, because it's that way, it's pointing that direction. This is coming out from behind from that way. It's not going to be straight down here. That won't make sense. So it's going to come out from behind and come down, which means I need to fix Um, I need to fix those things in front of it. Same with this one. Now that one's going pointing up. So instead of having it back there, it's like right down here a little bit. Now you can see where those all came from. We're going to attach more, more to this in a second. Getting rid of this color though. I'm going to go and add um, a tiny bit more red to our orange color. So now it's it's got a little fire to it. But it's not red. And I'm going to put a little bit of that, um, say here, I'm coming up in there. You don't have to do a whole bunch of these either. Maybe a little on this side so it looks like it's going up. It's up to you how much of this you want. If you want this to turn this little, Wherever you feel like you need a little bit more contrast. Maybe it's coming down some of these ones. Maybe it's just on the edge of that ones because they're hardly noticeable. Like that. 
Love it. Love it. All right. So this one here is going to have a little, I want it to look like it's going up this way. So just touching there. I want these to look like they're curving downwards, so I'm just change the direction just a little bit by dragging these ones down. Then you can see kind of where the yellow was supposed to go that I couldn't show up with the yellow. These ones are all kind of going upwards. I've changed the direction. These were coming out. And with the orange, I've moved them around a little bit. I can put a lot of orange right next to the black. But these just kind of change your direction a little in case you thought you were stuck. Ooh, I like it. I really like it. And these ones. Okay. Um, add more yellow. More red. I ran out of stuff. It's a little bit darker this, this time when I grabbed it, so. And the orange is transparent. Made a great big one here. And why not? Okay, I like it. All right, let's go back and do some green. Fix up our green just a tad here. Okay, so this green here, I have some pieces coming inside of your, so now you can go like kind of inside of your yellow where it's still white, fill that in with green and drag them out, give them little tails. So I'm going to go up inside that yellow just slightly in there. Have those come off in different directions because as it comes out, it peels out. So all those little pieces are going all over the place. I'm going to do the same on this other side, but let's give this a leaf. We'll change, change the colors in a sec too. So, uh, okay. So it's going to come, it's going to come over this way and curl. So I've got to change that pattern just a little. Bring some up into this that's already yellow, but do it messy. Don't be too neat about it. Twisty. And that one as well. Maybe that one's pointier. I want these not to be so diamond shaped, but more like they're dancing. So I'm wiggling them a little. Wiggle and twist a bit. Wiggle and twist. And then we have to use a separate color because we're going to do another layer on this one, not on these ones. So, oh, okay, got to grab some white. I'm too lazy to stand up, so I'm grabbing my other stash here. All right, so I'm going to take some white and I'm going to put it in that dark mixture. 
that I have all in my center just to change it up uh, the color a bit. A little bit lighter. Not too light because you're really not going to notice it down there if you do. Because it's almost that color. So I'm going to do a second layer that kind of comes up into here. Really messy little, little wiggly triangles. And can try to stay in between just a bit and have that one curve over that way. See what I mean by it disappeared in there? Wipe that off and then put a little black in the darker part of that mixture. Make it even darker. So I kept half and half. So I put a little bit of black into that. Keep it a little darker. I'm going to go sort of in between of these ones. It's wet. It's mixing. So where I couldn't see it here, this darkness is going to allow me to see that. Complete different color. I'm going to go with a regular, regular old green and blue. Yellow, yellow and blue make a really nice, just regular green. I'm going to have some shootout this way. And down. So you have the, they're like football shapes that come here. I'm going to make a bigger pile of that actually. A bigger pile of that regular green. Wiggle it around. You can add a touches of that up into there too, just to um, highlight those colors. You can highlight these a little bit with that regular green color. Especially over top of that stem. And then I'm just mucking this all up. This I want it to be super messy because I don't want any actual um, perfection in this one at all. That needs to be darker in there. Wiping off my light green color on my paper towel, going to the darkness, and in here it's got to be darker. Got to be darker in there. One around. Okay. Let's make leaves. Let's make some leaves. Okay. This color here. I'm going to take, uh, oh look, there's yellow and white there. Let's add a touch of blue to that. Or you can just make the yellow, blue, and white. Make the yellow, blue, and white. It's up to you. Check on white. A little bit of blue. Blue. A little more yellow. Gosh, I'm trying to get a nice light green going here. Got like a teal going. It's not what I wanted. And I don't want it to be super blue either. Quite a bit on here. More yellow. As long as it's just a different shade of green, really. Okay, so we're going to give a few leaves using our round brush. Into that darker stuff first. I'm going to have a leaf that comes off this one. It's going to come up and right over there. I'm going to have one sort of, you're not even going to see it. It's going to come, it's just going to go down there somewhere. Not about it. Oh boy. And one that just comes real short here to a point. 
So the leaf is going to kind of be, and then come to the point there. And then on this side, it's going to go up and around and come there. We're going to color that in green after. This one here is going to be kind of the same thing, making it bigger. You don't really see it, it goes off the page. Let's have one that comes out from inside of this. So that will be your leaf in there. Okay. Do we need another one? Do you want another one? I think that's probably enough. That's probably enough. All right, back to your medium brush. Now we've made this nice light green color here. I'm going to just color this in. We can add some highlights and stuff to it in a minute. But let's color that in on either side. Might be too green. I'm gonna go over that, that stem to you a little bit. And that brought the darkness back into there. If you take some white, I wiped off all my color on the paper top. You take some white and you just highlight over top of this right through there. Then we'll see that it comes off back that um, dandelion. dandelion. Sunflower. My gosh, guys. Crazy. So taking some of the dark stuff that I still had, you can put some darker, just mess it around on the underside of that. I'm just tapping it messily in here. Right, and then you can take some of that lighter green that we did like right here. You can put some of that on top there. If you want, throw some more of that regular green in there. Just mess it up, don't, don't be too concerned. Dark on the bottom, light on the top. That's all that I'm doing here. Look how dark this one is. Really dark on the bottom. Mix it with some light at the top. Way too light. Doesn't matter. I'm going to blend those out. Now I'm going to take um, this really cool green that we just made. And I'm going to go right over top of all of it. Still going to show light and dark. But if you need more dark, just add a little bit more on the bottom there. Curve it. See that? Nice. And you can just add some straight white on your brush. I wiped off most of the color, just add some straight white just across the top of this leaf. Maybe just a little across the top of this one. Right over that stem, just touch that stem. Tap it. If it's too much of a line, just tap it lightly to blend a little bit away. But you want to see that where the stem comes out, so you're going to touch a little bit of white there so you can see that it came off of this stem. Not liking that color? Change it. I'm not liking it anymore. Too weird green. Darken it up. Change your color. Just keep adding color on top of color. Even after it dries, you can add color on top of color. So this one, maybe you can see just a little green coming off it here, but you don't know what it does. I'm just, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to fill it in. I kind of like the weirdness of that. So I'm taking the dark green and I'm going to go right up under the flower petals. Here's where you can make the flower petals define because you're tapping that out. Now they all show up. 
make this a little bit lighter here, just so that you can see that that dark green is one of these there. Leave a little dark, dark green underneath where um, the sunflower petals are because right now it just looks like a shadow and I kind of like that. So don't go any lighter there. I'm just mixing whatever colors are on my, on my brush. Dark stuff. Nobody's upstairs watching these boys right now. <laughs> one's crying, one's laughing at them. It's so funny. I remember being a kid. Meow. Okay, that is my sunflower painting. Do we need more yellow in there? If you think that you want more color in your sunflowers, add more color. We can go in with some more straight yellow. Let's start with that, some straight yellow. Maybe highlight some of those that are just fading out because they're in the lab. Really thick and I'm just letting this sit on there. I really like it. Sure do. Okay, now that I've got still got some white left here. I'm gonna do a little highlight on these ones here. I want them to be coming down. Do, 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 do. And then I'm going to tap it out slightly because it's way too white. I just want you to see those. So I'm tapping as close as I can, lighten it up without getting rid of that line completely. And if you want one of these ones to curl over, you just do a diamond down this way in the white. So I'm going to curve over this. And that's the front of that one. So there's the darkness. Maybe one's curled over here. Needs to be light. Light. And now it kind of looks like it curves over, right? So this part here, I did sort of a diamond shape. That's that part that curves over this way. So what's underneath it needs to be just a tad darker. So it looks like it's the shadow from it. Let me take the smaller brush for that. So we get some of that dark green. You're going to go right where this triangle is and tap under. Let me see if I can show you sideways. So that was the part that was over. So I went darker right underneath it here. So it looks like it curled up and over. Curled up and over. 
interesting with this one. This is curling up and over this way. So underneath that, tap in a little darkness. Tap in some darkness here. So it looks like it curls over. And then I'm following that one along just so I can see the bottom of it. So this tier is pretty technical. Love this painting now. Go along the edge with some darkness. Tapping some darkness all around the edge of these. I can just keep going and going and going, you guys. I just can. I want to make sure that you can see that that crosses over. So I'm going dark all the way along the edge. And down along this edge of the flower or the pet, the leaf. Especially in where there's a dip, give it a little extra shadow. Love it. Now if you want to highlight your stems a little, go to the light green color that you have there. And then we're going to pick a side. Let's pick the, the top. So we're going to go with the top of this one. So just touching it. It's just going to show. Skip over that branch and down here. It's where the sun hit it. The sun's going to hit here a little bit on the side of this one. So it's going to catch it right there. Skip over that leaf. Skip over that leaf. Okay, I dig it. And I'm going to stop. I'm just going to sign this one. And there you have it, guys. There you have it. So um, that was a little more technical, but I think if you work at it, work at it. Walk away if you're frustrated. Walk away if you get frustrated and just come back and start adding to it because there's a lot of blow drying anyway. But I think it looks pretty stunner. So now we have all three. Let's turn it on. This is your week. That's your week. One, two, and three sunflowers. I hope you enjoyed that. Send me your pictures. Write me a note. Tell me how frustrated you are. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys live close to me. I can walk you through it. So uh, thanks again for hanging in with me. Send me pictures. Share me on Facebook. Get your friends to join. And I will talk to you next week. Bye for now. Oh, wait. Suggestions, too. I need suggestions for Wednesday. 